John, what are engineers witnessing and what are they seeing and why are they coming here today to DMG Mori? Um, they're coming here today to see the latest um, updates to, to the Visi product range. Um, so we, we give them an update today of what's been happening in the development wise for new features on the CAD, new features on the CAM. Um, they're, they're also here to, to share um, and see us working together with our partners and also see some, some live cutting on DMG um, machine tools with um, the, the waveform strategies that we've introduced on this latest release. And, and that's part of the latest release, isn't it, the waveform? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, the, the, the waveform is a, is, a, is a strategy, really, for um, it's, it's tailored towards hard metal machining, and it's trying to get those uh, material removal rates up um, really quickly so we can get that metal up as fast as possible to get the productivity up for everybody. Now, is there an example, well, certainly with what we've got here in the machine, of what that productivity improvement is? It, it ranges, but when you convert it to a, a conventional type toolpath using the smaller step downs and the um, a, a relatively um, smaller step overs, um, when we compare it to the waveform, we can get increases from um, a minimum of 100%, we're seeing like up to 500% increases in material removal rate using this strategy. That's a significant improvement in productivity, isn't it? It, it certainly is, and, and using these strategies to, to utilise the full depth of the, of the tool with, with smaller step overs, we can get the speeds that uh, these newer machine tools need, um, tailored together with the, um, the advances in cutting tool manufacturing and everything. We're all working together to get these um, rates up. And that's a big message here as well, because we're obviously at DMG Mori and with yourselves, Vera, but there are other partners as well, aren't there, involved in this solution? Yeah, we're, we've, um, we're, we're working and we're cutting with um, on the DMG machine tools. We're also working with Seco, or, or, or giving us the, the cutting tools, working with new um, tooling innovations that they've, they've given to us. So we're all working together to do this. Uh, and also, within the, the busy days as well, we're, we're promoting and we're showing our Javelin brand within the, within the group um, for, a, for an MRP system. And then we've also got Hexagon here who are showing um, the Roma arms which tailors our mold and dive product within the, the product for, uh, um, for doing scanned, and scanned data and reverse engineering for tools. Th th there's always a lot of changes as well and that's part of today to introduce new features or educate your users into the new features that you've got. But how quickly are things advancing with, uh, with Vero and with Visi? Th they're advancing very, very quickly. We've got, um, in fact, this is, this is a release for 2016 R2. Um, there's, a, there's another development already coming through for 2017 R1, which will be, be out towards the, uh, the end of the year. So um, we're, all, we're constantly developing and bringing new uh, features into the software and all parts of the software to, to help the users with these new technologies. And when we say help the users, what are they looking to achieve with your software? Reductions in cycle times, non-cutting times? What, what's, what's, you know, what's the plan? It, it, it's, it's productivity, cutting, cutting time. Because we've got a broad product range, We've got everybody, the people want something on the CAD, they want something on the CAM, they, they, they want tools for everything. So it's, it's difficult to say exactly what they want, but we just try and give them the, the tools to, to increase their productivity across the, the range. And you're obviously succeeding because you've had a lot of people here today. So uh, thanks for your time, John. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. Steve, you're the host of this uh, Vero Day today. What, what, do you, what do you like about Vero and what enables you to put this sort of day on? Well I think the interesting thing is that we sell a machine tool which is classed as a lump of cast iron and we know that in a customer's factory there's a lot of auxiliary equipment around to make sure that it techs and gives the right productivity. So you've got your CAN systems, you've got your inspection systems, so you've got the front end, you've got the back end, machines in the middle with the tooling with Seco. I think it's a good mix for the customers. You must be very confident in the Vero product to bring them here and put a day like this on though, is that, is that right? Yeah, we're very confident. I mean, they bring their good customers here. We're on show, um, but also we have to believe in their products, and we do believe in their products. We use their products, and it functions perfectly well on our machine. Would it be fair to say you've got two quality premium products working in harmony? Yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, those two products together will give efficiency to the customer. How are things at DMG Mori at the moment? Well, they've been pretty good. I mean, you know, there's a lot of nervousness in the, in the marketplace in respect to what's happening with Europe. Um, MAC was a, was a big event, uh, it brought a lot of customers out, more than we've had in previous years, 
very, very, very successful for us. And we've continued with that, which is quite surprising because machine tools can have bit peaks and troughs. But I think that's the barometer about where the investment is. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm afraid to say that what is in the papers is probably not all what's really happening. Paul, what's Seco's involvement in today's event? Uh, we provided the tooling for the uh, demonstration on the machine that, uh, in conjunction with the waveform roughing. Uh, we've developed a, a new tool uh, called the 5542C, a part of our solid square range. Uh, have you developed this tool specifically for this waveform operation? Or it's, it's developed for all the advanced uh, roughing strategies, really, but it works really well with the waveform as well. Um, it, What's uh, good about it? It's, it's, got a, it's got a tapered core, it's really strong, it's got, a, it's got a lot of clearance on the bottom for helical interpolation to get yourself into cut so you don't have to drill any holes. Um, we can get up to 30% uh, uh, width of cut on the, on the tool. It's got 2.5 times D uh, reach capability, so which can be fully utilised. So it's, it's, it's quite, quite a small... Uh, what's the diameter of the, what we've got here? Uh, we, we've, we've deliberately used an 8mm tool for the demonstration to show the full capability. So we've used the full, full depth of cut of the tool, it's at 20mm deep, and we're using 20% side engagement in tool steel. So. And, and what speed is it running? What sort of feed rates? Uh, it's, it's running at 200 metres a minute and 0.08 to 2, so it's really, really quick. The metal removal is, is above 60, 65 centimetres cubed a, se a minute. So. Are you, are you at the forefront of this sort of stuff at Seco? Uh, I'm the UK product manager. Uh, Not you specifically with the Seco tools. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the product manager for the solid carbide. I'm really passionate about it. Um, um, and uh, yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it, we've, we've got a lot of product coming this year. So. I was going to say, what's new? What's happening at Seco? Um, well, we, this, this tool at the minute we're using is a four flute. We've got a five flute version of this tool coming later in the year. Um, we've got a six flute uh, tool that's specifically for titanium using these strategies coming this year. Um, we've also got a new hard milling range, so we've got a lot of product coming. This is coming in uh, September, uh, ready for the launch in conjunction with our Inspiration Through Innovation event. Nice plug of the event, we'll be there and I'm looking forward to it. We, we talk about hard metals and, and machining difficult yeah. materials, that's, that's really where Seco is at the moment as well, isn't it? Yeah, of course, uh, we're, we're a high performance company, our tools are, are, are working at the high end, um, and, and these tools, the hard milling tools, are up to, they can machine up to 65 rockwool. So, um, yeah, they're really performance tools. Bob, you've come a long way today. What, what would make you jump in your car and drive over 100 miles, possibly, to get here for this event? Uh, you're preaching to the converted, I'm afraid, because I've been using Vizzy's product now for uh, nearly 20 years. And so coming here, what, what do you learn? Do you learn about the new features that, that you can use? Yes, you do. Um, you also get a chance to network and talk to, uh, talk to people that you've met before. But it's really, it's just a, a nice quick snapshot of what you're going to get into and what you're getting from the new, new update. And when you say we're preaching to the converted, you're a big fan of the software. What, what's it done for your business and your production? We are a small uh, precision plastic injection mold making and molding company. We would, and we're a nice little company that uses state of the art kit. We would not be that if it wasn't for the fact that I took the decision many years ago to invest in, in Vero's product. Why, what's it actually done? Let's, let's drill down to the detail. Has it made you, made you more cost efficient? Has it made components faster? Has it given you better product? It gives you all of that, but as we know, uh, modern design, modern product design has freed up designers with modern machine tools like this. It's freed up designers to go for uh, quite free form organic shapes. Well, you've got to be able to replicate those. You can't do that with a 2D drawing. You need 3D modeling and you need to be able to machine directly from that three, those 3D models. So you need good machine tool technology and you need a really good CAD CAM package. And, and would you say they've hit the nail on the head here, uh, Vero, with this event, the fact that they've got tooling supplies, they've brought the whole lot together, metrology, machine tools, tooling? Yes, most definitely. What about waveform? Are you, are you gonna get the benefit of that? I think we will, um, and, and here, because of our work, we are mainly concentrating on the 3D side of machining. The 2D side of machining, is that's not really us. That's, that's not what we do. But I'm, I'm going to go away and, and we will uh, practice with it for a while and we'll, we'll see how we get on. Well, I mean, without, without events like this, you probably wouldn't know these things anyway. So you, you can take a lot away from today. Yes, I can. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you're going back on the train, I believe. I am going back on the train. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't drive here, but thanks anyway, Bob. Okay, thank you.
Simon, how does Busy Software integrate into your company? Well, basically, it has given us the ability to reliably and consistently perform our job uh, using both the CAD and CAM sides of it. Um, we deal with model railway parts, so all of our parts are very small, very intricate, very detailed. Um, we are using cu cutters more often than not uh, 0.2 in diameter, but you know, reliably 0.3s and 0.5s. Uh, very regularly uh, are the kind of cutters we use so we need our systems to be foolproof. Yeah and so when I say when, how does it integrate I mean how has it improved things within the business prior to when you might have had their software? Uh, it's reduced machining times you literally design a part on the screen that is a uh, just what it is it is a lump if you change part of it it just changes you, you're not held back by the design before it, uh, sketches and such like. Well, it's quite interesting because a lot of our viewers may not use CAD or may not use CAM, and they often look at it and think, well, maybe my parts aren't right for it. But you can have, or you can be machining the most simplest of components to get the benefit. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, really, to grow a cube on, on, a, on a CAD system like Visi is literally simple as three clicks. So X, Y, Z, and you've got a cube. So then to put a hole through it, again, three clicks, you know, so center of circle, outside of circle, length of your circle, and hey, presto, you've got a hole straight through it. So simplicity of use. Uh, and and what about today's event for you? What, why do you come to these events? Oh, well, we come to these events namely because we like to keep up to date with what's happened in the latest updates. We like to try and take advantage of all the uh, improvements in the system. Obviously, with them partnering up with machine companies like DMG, uh, it gets us out and it gets us to see new technology as well. Um, I believe last time it was uh, a different uh, machine company, one of the cutter companies, I believe Seco. Uh, and again, we, it gives us a chance to network with people we wouldn't normally see. So it's not just a software, is it? You can come here and you can see a whole collaborative of Absolutely, the total yeah. solution. Yeah, yeah, and we get a good rapport with, with the guys from Visi. You know, uh, you've got more of a working relationship with them rather than an anonymous face behind a phone you've never met before. Whereas, you know, we know Paul and all of that quite well, really. So, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, Simon. Excellent. Thank you very much. Stephen, Hexagon bought Vero a couple of years ago. What, what was the fit and what was the reason for the purchase? I think really the, the reason for the purchase was at Hexagon, we, we have all the equipment to capture data, whether that be hard probing or 3D scan data. But we found that there was a requirement to, you know, we, we wish to be able to, to actually use that data and take that into a, into a CAD CAM package. Uh, so that could be machined. And we were finding that uh, prior to the acquisition of Visi, or Vero, we had to uh, potentially put that out to a third party. Whereas with, with the acquisition, then that uh, it brings everything all under one, one roof. So, so, so what have you been actually showing the audience today during your piece and your seminar, just, for, just to give us an example of that? So basically what we've done with this, we, we, we've simulated uh, that we can actually laser scan the, uh, the, the model of Bertie to produce a, a 3D point cloud. And then from that point cloud, we generate uh, what we call an STL file. And then that STL file we give to, uh, to import into the Visi software. They would then lay a, a, a surface over there and create a, what we call a cutter path. And then from that cutter path, the mold that you see in before you on the table can be cut for, uh, for manufacturing purposes. So hey, I, I don't know how you would have gone about doing this previously before scanning technology. It would have been a, a hell of an arduous process, wouldn't it? Oh, very laborious. You would have to go in with a, with a hard touch probe and just take individual hits, which would probably take uh, oh, many, many hours to, to do what we've done with a laser scanner in, uh, in minutes. So you're the last piece of the jigsaw, really, for us today. We've looked at the tooling, we've looked at the machine tools, and, and um, we've spoken to a lot of, lot of customers here. But they're, they're a good fit, aren't they, these four things for this show, when we've, you've got tooling, machine tools, metrology, and the software? Very much so, you know, it's like the start of the process, you know, the, the middle and the end. It's all like a complete seamless process, so it's, uh, you know, very, 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 very good.